This is Chris, the Idaho Painter, back here on The Frugal Crafter to show you how to make this simple little rope shelf right here for less than $20 and in less than two hours. So stay tuned for this video. So to start off this project, I went down just to my local uh, hardware store. I purchased some four inch utility hooks. They were just zinc utility hooks. Purchased two of them. I purchased 24 feet of five inch poly rope. And then I purchased a one by eight uh, piece of pine that was at eight feet long. And that was just the tools or actually the supplies I needed for this project. So in order to make these shelves, I went down and just purchased some one by eight pine and we decided we wanted our shelves about two feet long. So we're just gonna take, cut our shelves two feet long and then you can actually just sand the edges if you don't have a router, but we got a little router and then we're gonna route the edges to give them a nice finished look on the edges on both sides. So you don't have to have all these fancy power tools like we have to actually make the simple project. Instead of having you know, a chop saw like this, all you gotta do is just have a hand saw to just make your cut. And if you just had a little wooden miter box, you can get at your local hardware store, do it yourself store. You know, they're only about 10 bucks to get yourself a nice straight cut with a hand saw. And then you don't have to have that fancy router about the edges. You can just take, I would just take a medium sanding sponge and just sand those edges and you can get a nice round edge, smooth edge by sanding with a sanding sponge. So I got these shelves all cut and routed. Now I've got to just drill four holes in the corners like this. It's really easy. You're just going to be using a drill bit with a 7 8 inch spade bit right here. And then I'm just going to take a tape measure and I'm going to measure each one of these corners. I'm just going to take my tape measure, put it on the corner, hold it like right at a 45 degree angle, make a mark at two inches. So I'm just going to hold it right there, make a little mark with a pin two inches. And then we'll just drill our hole with our spade bit. It's really simple. So we'll show you. So you just hold this right there. Now I'm just going to take my spade bit. I'm going to drill halfway through and the point of the spade bit is going to show through the other side. Then I'll drill the opposite direction because if you go all the way through with a spade bit, it's going to blow out the opposite side and chip it really bad. So I'm going to drill the first hole. About halfway through, you'll see there's a hole that shows through. I can just flip it over. And then, that way I get a cleaner hole. So there's my first hole. The next hole, this one's right in the middle of a knot, so it's gonna be a little bit harder. like that clean it off now the shelf is all done now I can sand this shelf stain it to whatever color I want I'm just gonna be doing a um, whitewash stain on here and then we'll begin putting our rope through I got three shelves on my hanging rope shelf and there's my three shelves now I'm gonna go take and stain them now to actually coat these things you can actually paint them put any type of product you want on them I'm gonna actually just be taking, putting a gray stain on them and then whitewashing them. But the first step, I'm just gonna take a medium sanding sponge right here. Just gonna lightly sand these things. Don't want them to feel really rough. It just, the wood came fairly smooth when I bought it, so I don't have to do a whole lot of sanding. That's pretty good right there. Now they're lightly sanded, now I'm gonna coat them. So what I'm actually gonna do, I decided my uh, coating, I wanted to just do a whitewash coating on them without like a gray undertone to it. So I just got some regular white paint that I'm just gonna be brushing on here. And it's got a little bit of glaze in it. It's probably got like 10% uh, faux expressions glaze to uh, give me some working time. So I'm just gonna you know, wipe it on this whole shelf and then I'm just gonna wipe it off. It's a really simple process. I'm just gonna brush it all on here. 
kind of given it more of a you know more up-to-date modern look to it. It's kind of what's popular right now. And this is going to give it like a a finish versus just leaving it bare wood. It's going to give it once it dries a finish that can be cleaned and dusted off and and you don't have to let it set and dry. I'm just going to wipe it on. As soon as I get it on this whole shelf, I'm just going to wipe it off. I'm just going to use a clean rag now and begin wiping the thing off. Just going to take off as much as I want to achieve the look that I'm trying to achieve here. You don't have to worry about the insides of the holes because the rope is obviously going up inside the hole. So just like that, I've got a nice whitewashed finish to it. Looks really good. Once again, to do this whitewash, just using a latex brush. Any latex brush will work fine. I've just got a three inch angle sash brush. I'm using an interior paint that's actually the color's incredible white, which the number is actually 7028 incredible white. And the glaze, once again, I'm using a glaze. It's called Faux and Faux Expressions Glaze. And that glaze gives you, you know, more working time with this paint. The paint isn't going to be as opaque and it's not going to soak in the wood nearly as fast. So now the last step of this process, all you got to do is just feed your rope through your holes, tie your knots, and then you're all done. So we're gonna show you how, just gonna loop this through, tire knots, and it's gonna come over the top and loop back down the other side. And that's how you actually hold this thing together. Here we go. So we're gonna cut our rope. We're gonna, we actually bought a length of rope. I think we bought 24 feet of rope. We're just gonna cut that right in half and begin threading each piece through one side of our shelves. When you cut this rope, you definitely wanna, we've got a, uh, a lighter right here that we're actually just going to melt the end of it. This is a nylon rope. If you don't melt the end of it, it's going to fray open. So in order to actually do this knot uh, setup right here, you're just gonna start with your first shelf, uh, feed your rope through, tie your first knot on the end where that shelf will sit right here. And then we actually wanted our knot spaced uh, about a foot apart. So then we put another knot, set another shelf down, put another knot a foot up, set another shelf down and did our loop. We wanted about two feet, looped it and came back. Um, through our shelf, tied a knot, went through this shelf, tied a knot, and then through and tied a knot at the end. And then when you get it all together, you're just gonna have to adjust your knots, which is really easy by loosening them and moving them up and down once you get it hung up on your wall. Just like that, now we'll just begin adjusting our knots to get our shelf straight.
So hopefully you've enjoyed this video on how to make a rope shelf. If you haven't subscribed to Lindsay's channel, The Frugal Crafter, please consider subscribing to her channel. If you want to come check out my channel, The Idaho Painter on YouTube, I got all kinds of tips, tricks, and hacks on interior and exterior painting and home improvement projects. So hopefully we'll see you on my channel or back here on The Frugal Crafter.